Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Pedro here, if you're new, hi, um, welcome back to the vlog, it's now a beautiful day, well I'm, I'm joking, it's windy and rainy and horrible outside, but we're gonna get past that, we're not gonna think about that, we're just gonna move on, cool, anyway, today's gonna be an interesting day, so I'm going back to Brighton, the, back on to university campus, and I thought I'd bring you guys along for that, because it's the first time I've been on campus this... This academic year, I haven't actually been there at all because we've been on placement this whole time, so there's, there was no reason for me to go back there. But the reason I'm going back is because we have teaching from 2 p.m. till 5 p.m., but it's in person teaching. I think some sort of workshop on general practice, and I've got to be there for that rather than through Teams, which is fine. But I also have online lectures starting at 9 a.m. until like 12.45, almost 1 o'clock. And that doesn't give me enough time to transfer between here and Brighton. So I'm going to have to go there earlier so I can get the lectures so before 9. So I can get to the lectures. And then that gives me about an hour and a half lunch break. Which I'm going to try, fingers crossed, to get in a good rowing session in, in between that. <laughs> so yeah, and that's the plan. Um, I'll take you guys to the library, bring you back to campus. I think it's going to bring a lot of memories back just because that's where I did first and second year. They're on Brighton campus, uh, so I'll bring you guys along for that. Hopefully it'll be a good day. Um, I'm sure it will. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I love good coffee, man. It's so, so good. Take care, peace out. Okay, so I am here at the library. I'm going to keep it down just because I don't want to be annoying people around me. Um, yeah, I just got here. It's about uh, just gone quarter past nine, so I'm 15 minutes into this lecture um, that I'm hearing on my headphones. And I'm just going to sit down now for the next three hours or so. Yeah, and just go through the lectures that we are currently going on on Teams, and that's going to be interesting. So today's topic is heart failure. I'm um, going through all the medications of heart failure, the causes, and sort of the normal physiological cardiovascular changes that occur with aging, um, and what can be done to sort of slow down that process. Um, it's very interesting. I think it's quite cool to be able to understand that and um, just getting, again, a good grounding in that science. But anyway, that's the plan for now. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys up in a little bit. I'm going to go back in because it's already started and I don't want to miss it. Peace in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, well that's all done. Um, and now, that was a long few hours of lectures, but that's done, thankfully. Um, good to be done with that. Um, I'm now going to go to the training centre, the sports centre, which I've just built. It's going to be good because I have a few we need to train for the races that are coming up, so that's the plan for now. And I've got about an hour and a half until I need to be back in the lecture theatre. Not lecture theatre, the GP teaching thing that I came here to do. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. I'll catch you guys up in a little bit. Peace. Alrighty. So I just got out of the training centre. This is a new sports centre that they built at Brighton Uni. That's better. And it's pretty neat. Look at that. Anyway. That was probably the quickest training session I've ever had. 30 minutes on the rowing machine, high intensity, not there for long, but now we're done. And now I need to rush back because I've got five minutes until they start the lecture in the new room. Sorry for the wind. Um, you do feel a really good high afterwards though, so I do admit, like, it does. After like three and a bit hours of lectures, just go in there and just be able to go on the rowing machine and just do like a really intense 30 minute session. Excuse the hair, by the way, it's very um, spongy. You can tell I'm. I'm ventilating still, I just showered, haven't had much time to cool off, but anyway, that's it. And I'm going to go back up to the lecture and continue for the rest of the day. Three more hours of lectures and then we're done for today. I think that's the plan, but other than that, and then we're done. Okay, so we just got out of the workshops. Um, going to go now and get some food. Um, I'm very quite interesting talking about things involved with bias, chef app, specifically with people who are living with obesity and how where, and if it's roles as as doctors, as GPs to help influence that. And if so, how can we overcome the barriers towards um, changing lifestyle in a way that can promote health, which is quite interesting. Yeah, that's done for today though. I'm gonna go 
eat some pizza with a few friends from the medical school because it's been a while since we were last together in this building in on campus. But yeah, other than that, it's been a pretty good day. Yo! Yeah. Wanna say hi? Yeah, of course. Hello. Hello. Is this like a day in the life? Yeah, introduce yourself. Go on. Really? Yeah? Oh, I'm Mark. I'm Pedro's best friend, isn't that right, Pedro? Yeah, right, that's right, Mark. Best friends from early. Uh, what did we have today, Pedro? We had workshops on yeah, workshops. modifiable factors of health. Yeah, and what's everyone going to do, Pedro? Everyone's going to subscribe, they're going to like, <laughs> and what are they going to do? They're going to turn on the notifications, Pedro. That's yeah, what turn on the notifications, that's yeah. it. Cheers, buddy. No bit. Good to see you, man. Good yeah, to catch up. All right. Hi, it's Morgan. Just what to say. But it's just, oh yeah, no, we're doppelgangers. If you can't. Oh tell. yeah, so I'm, like... the, I'm the Asian doc doppelganger, and uh, <laughs> slightly more attractive in my opinion. But we're having a great time today. You know, like all what the do we do? Modifiable risk factors for disease and uh, the difference between external factors and internal factors that affect the patient lifestyle. Yeah. Because a lot of people associate blame with the condition they have or may develop, and more often than not, it's something externally they they can control or cannot control. In fact, it's, like, it's a modifiable risk factor, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's modifiable. To the extent it's modifiable, to an extent, how much you can actually change it. Yeah, there are facts that influence on how much influence you actually have over that, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Alright. Good luck. It's a really interesting session, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. I it. Long, though. It was a long day. Like, we had lectures in the morning, and now. I had a Pepsi Max. I'm, ha I'm yeah, happy. Max, you're happy. You're on, you're on caffeinated. I've, I've, yeah. yeah. I've only had two cups of coffee today and I'm struggling, but yeah. You look very Alright, guys, happy. thanks for joining us. I'm going to go down now, drive back down to Brighton into town, yeah, and grab some pizza with a few friends. Um, but yeah. yeah, good to see you, dude. Good to see you. That's appearing in the vlog. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're now back. It's now 10 pm. Um, it's really good to be back home. As you can see, a different room, different background behind me. This is my little room that I have in Hastings. It's really quaint, it's really cute. And the best bit is, is that it's the sea facing flat. So if you walk that way through the door, you actually get to see the, the sea. And it's lovely when you get the sunrise and sunset, you can see it both because it's a nice 180 degree panoramic view. Um, anyway, yeah, today was lovely. Met up with a few friends, which I haven't really seen since first year. And. Um, it was good to catch up because that's one of the problems with it's not a problem It's just one of the the nature of the course right is that you get stood up from your friends just because you all go on different regional placements in different hospitals and So you in order to see each other you need to actually make a big effort to come in and stay a bit longer It was lovely. So we had some went to the pizza restaurant There's a very nice place in Brighton called shout out to VIP pizza. They don't sponsor this, but if they did it would be cool um, and yeah, just had a lot of time, spent a couple of hours in the restaurant just chatting, going through things, how life's been since we last saw each other back in second year, man. Um, we're now halfway through third year, so it's been a while, um, but it was lovely to just catch up. So, I'm going to sign it off here, I hope you guys enjoyed today. A bit of a strange one, you can tell there's a lot of moving around, there's a lot of driving from one place to another, so I drove from back home to Brighton, that's an hour. And then from Brighton to Hastings, another hour. Three different places I'm sort of spread across and I keep circulating between them week on a weekly basis. Um, but that's fine, it's tiring, but it's the nature of the course and I can't complain. The plan for tomorrow is I'm just going to stay in this room pretty much all day. I uh, might go out for a little walk or the gym. Um, just enjoy some time tomorrow here in Hastings because the junior doctors are on strike, so they're quite short on manpower at the hospital. So the original plan for was for us to go in, but we're going to end up staying here just because there won't be much for us to do there and it's quite short staffed um, don't want to really get in the way um, and so yeah I'm gonna stay here and get through some lectures and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video this 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 video this day this vlog it's been great bringing you guys along um, sorry I couldn't film much I'm trying to film more but yeah I'm gonna sign out here have a good evening take care peace out